What kind of features can you expect on your Nokia device when it receives Android 13? Hey, it's Abdullah. The Nokia X20 has received the second developer preview of the Android 13 beta. So I wanna show you what's new in this build and cover the new features that we can expect to see on Nokia Android devices when they receive Android 13. PS, definitely don't install this on your X20 if you're using it as your daily driver, as it's still a beta and full of unfixed bugs. So let's get straight into it and we will start with the visual changes. The startup and setup screens have been redesigned for Android 13. There are more color options inside the theming settings in the wallpaper and style section. You can now choose between two different clock styles on the lock screen. Swiping from the edge of the display to go back has now a predictive option, which shows you a glimpse of where the back button will take you. The now playing widget in the notification bar now shows you full album art cover as a background. The audio output selector has been redesigned and made easier to use. Auto theming icons might finally make it to stock Android 13, although for now the feature remains a pixel only exclusive. And developers can finally add their own material U icons, which should match the rest of the new icon packs. So what are the new features that you can expect on stock Android 13? QR scanning has been made easier to use, and you can even add a quick toggle to your notification bar. Bluetooth low energy audio support has been baked into stock Android 13. So this allows for lower energy consumption and even better audio quality. Do not disturb mode has been renamed to priority mode. Silent mode has been made completely silent, so there are no more vibrations enabled in this mode. You will now be able to select different languages for different apps. So for example, you can set up Facebook to work in Arabic, while Instagram remains in English and so on. You can now create a secondary profile for NFC payments for different profiles. The clipboard for copy and paste has been redesigned. So now it shows up on the bottom left of your keyboard and you can even edit the text in the clipboard before you copy and paste. Android 13 gets a feature called integrated fast pair. So your phone should be able to know when there's a new accessory nearby and automatically suggest if you want to pair to it or not. Tap to transfer makes a return. This used to be called Android Beam back in the day and worked with NFC, but now it's not only restricted to NFC. Android 13 now supports ultra wide band, which in theory allows you to turn your phone into a car key, for example. There's a new gaming feature which allows a boost to the CPU to speed up the process of loading up games. Now in terms of privacy, there are three new features. There's now a private photo picker, so if an app requires access to the gallery, it won't be able to see all your photos, but only the photos that you select to upload to the specific app. There's finally notification permissions right when you install an app, so you won't have to disable notifications after the app automatically sends them to you, but now you can choose whether you want to receive them or not in the first place. And finally, there is granular permissions for media. So if an app requires access to any of your media files, you can only give it access to the one file that it needs and not access your whole gallery or all of your media storage to get what it needs. The final aspect I wanna cover are the improvements under the hood. And there's only one major one called the Android resource economy. This just basically means that your adaptive battery is now even smarter. So your phone should be able to improve battery consumption based on the battery percentage that's left, and it can do this on a per app basis. It should also be able to detect when an app is using excessive battery when it shouldn't. I think this is a very long overdue feature and I hope it actually works as advertised. Please note that all of the features that I just mentioned are either still in beta or not even currently present. Things might change for the official release, some features might not make it to the final build, while others might also be added later. However, I hope that this video will give you an idea about the kind of features that you can expect with the official release of Android 13. If you're sick and tired of Android like I am, check out my nostalgia videos covering the Nokia N8, which was running on Symbian Bell, or check out my Nokia XR20 long-term review to see how the device fares up after over six months of usage. Thanks for watching and I shall see you in the next one.